Hey everyone, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. My name is Tom, and in this music lesson, I'm going to give all you piano players some hints and tips on playing these things. Oh, yes, the pedals on the organ are the most exciting thing that we get to do as organists, but they remain a bit of a mystery to piano players. Now, of course, if you are playing in a, uh, a church situation, and perhaps you're, you've been booked to play at this festive time of year for a Christmas carol service or maybe midnight mass, um, you might find yourself sitting out a single manual, a two manual, or maybe even a three manual church pipe organ, sometimes a digital organ as we're using here today in our lesson, but it's a shame that you don't get to use these things down here. Now, this is a pedal board, a pedal keyboard, and it's basically full of big, long wooden sticks and short black sticks, which represent musical notes. So basically, it's a big keyboard for the feet. It starts on C, and as you go up the scale, you can hear that we can play all the notes with our feet and normally we just play one at a time. But this is um, where the fun of playing the organ comes in because we get a big, fat sound from the big pipes of the organ. Now I'm gonna show you some hints and tips in this music lesson. And again, this is really for piano players coming to the organ. And I'm gonna show you how to add from your hymns and your carols um, a pedal line. It's ever so easy um, if you know what to look for. So here's the first line of In the Bleak Midwinter. Um, this is by Gustav Holst of the Planet's Fame. And let's play the opening line on the screen just using the four parts as we would do on the piano. Here we go. Now that sounds perfectly okay, but you can hear that it doesn't kind of have the kind of the big fullness as it would do if we were playing with the pedal. So here we've got to transfer the note, look. So how would we add some pedals into that arrangement? Well, first of all, let's put the pedal camera on and let's take a look at our pedal board. Well, most pedal boards are two and a half octaves, more or less. Um, they go from C to C, and then from C to C. My pedal board ends on F. Modern sort of pedal boards end on G. But you'll probably find your pedal board might end around F at the top there. The C in the middle is here. The C at the bottom is down here. And mostly to start with, you want to just let your legs dangle, and the left leg kind of swings left to right. So in the music, the first note uh, that we've got on the left hand is F, then it goes G, A, F. Now if we were to transfer that onto the pedals, it would be this F up here, not this F down here. But I quite like to use the lower notes because you get the bigger pipes and the deeper sound. Now on the organ, you'll find a bank of stops, maybe pull out Draw, uh, pull out draw stops, which are, um, a few of them will be labelled possibly pedal, but they normally are quite big, and if you're not sure which ones they are, you just keep pulling out stops until some noises come on there. Um, but you can also use what we call coupler stops, and couplers link the keys up here down to the pedals down there. So that could be quite useful as well. Um, but if you're interested in, in learning a bit of, more about the pipe organ in general, head over to my Pipe Organ 101 lesson, and the link's in the description, which is, again, designed for piano players. So the first um, part of the tune is all based around an F chord. There we go. So that's all on the, all on the, um, on the F chord you can see there. So on my pedal, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play this pedal here, which is my F pedal using my left foot. I'm just going to hold that down at the beginning. So here we go, coming in together, one, two, three, four. Hey, now that's starting to sound instantly so much more impressive thanks to the big F pedal coming in. Now the next bar is based around D minors. So, yes, you guessed it, we move our foot two pedals down and we push the D pedal. 
Okay, now the next part uses sort of a mixture of chord, but it's mostly sort of based around sort of G minors, B flat chords. So there's a few pedals we could include here. First of all, we're going to put in a B flat pedal on the next bar. So that's that one here. Now again, I'm using my left foot for this at the moment. So again, I can play my notes the same as the piano. Now because that, that C is creating a clash anyway with the D, um, it's okay, it will still go with the, uh, the B flat pedal. But then I think we want to step down to the A pedal, and then down to the G pedal, and then I'm going to bring my right foot in to play the C pedal at the top with the C chord, because I've got that ready there, look. Okay, so I hope that's making some sense. So what we're basically doing is we're using the bass part of the four-part harmony. Now, of course, you haven't got to play all the notes to start with. So here's me playing the pedal line on the pedals. And then going up. Now eventually you can build up to that, but to start with, just pick out key notes. So to start with, uh, so again, what's to, to reiterate, I'm just playing the piano part up here, but I'm doubling my, my sort of main bass note on the pedals. So here we go then, big F note. Down to D. So notice like I'm lifting my foot and just gently moving it down, feeling the change. Right, now the B flat, so I swing my leg, grab that B flat pedal right there. Keep, now I've got to keep, um, I'm, I'm going to keep my uh, B flat over this C sort of bass. Then just slide forward to A, G, bring the right foot in and play the C. Now the next line is basically the same thing, hold the F pedal. D minor. You can make little variations if you want. Now here we can play the bass down here. We might want to come up and fill the chord out a little bit, that's okay. Play a B flat chord there, look, B flat, C pedal, and then either go up to F or down to F. But why not play both for a bit of fun? Okay, so that's sounding very good now. Listen to the difference without, first line playing all the notes in the piano score. Put some extras in, add the pedals. There we go, B flat look, so I've got my D up here. C, and top F. And again, I can fill in, look, do a bit more. Now the next bit has got D note in. Now then D, look, I'm playing that with my right foot. Putting a few extra notes in. As I said, the thing is, uh, the, the harmony is you don't have to always stick them because the pedal line is adding, you know, opportunities that let these fingers come away from their keys. Now C, then B flat, back to D. So you see, I'm using my right foot to sort of from about D upwards occasionally C, my left foot is kind of looking after this side of the pedal board, so I've got D, C, B flat maybe, and then D, now A's look, A, B flat, and then C, down to bottom C, again the lowest note on the pedal board, look at that look. So I went C, C. Now back to F. D. B flat. C. And top F, bottom F. There you go. So let me play that through now and let me show you the pedals up close. Here we go.
so there we go. That is an easy way, um, just one of one way of adding pedals to a carol or maybe a church hymn. And all you have to do is look through the bar, look at your harmonies and say to yourself, how many chords are in that bar? Is there one? Is there two? Is the bar, you know, just uh, the same basic harmony? And just to start with, hold down. And if you don't feel confident enough about using both feet, just start with your left foot. Okay, the, and put the other foot on the on the, the foot stay, <clears throat> on the foot rest on the bench. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as you go through, you'll be able to find the thing. So for example, side at night, look, I can start on C. Then a G pedal. Bottom C pedal. F pedal. C pedal. F pedal. And it just makes it so much more interesting, look. There you go, it sounds very nice. So if you get a chance to go to your local church or, or maybe you've got a the opportunity to have a maybe a pre-owned digital organ at home, do have a go, if you're a piano player, at trying to add pedals to your carols and hymns. And that will make you, believe you me, sound even more impressive than you already do the next time you play for a church service. And it makes the organ sound quite something. So I hope you've enjoyed that, folks. Um, there is a, um, a bonus PDF that I've uploaded to my Patreon channel where I've put a few markings on the score just to give you some ideas of where to uh, where to push the pedals down. And uh, as I say, thank you very much. Any questions, do send me an email via my website, tomhorton.co.uk. Hit the subscribe button, check out my various social media platforms and uh, do have yourselves a very Merry Christmas and have fun, all you lovely piano players, putting the pedals in on a carol. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.